Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Project Management and Control. This video tutorial I am making to demonstrate the definition of the baseline program and different type of baselines in Primera P6 software. So first see what is the baseline program. So the baseline program is the approved copy of the program schedule which is normally making at the commencement of the project. Once this program, we need the approval of this program from the, all the stakeholders of the project, which include, include the project consultant, if there are any PMC services provider, and from the client. Once all the parties approve this program, we make it fixed or freeze it, or it may it, we make it static for the project for the duration of the project, and it is used to compare the progress of the project and performance of the project. So once we are talking about for the baseline program, there is some special feature of the program, the baseline program, it should be considered. The number one is that the baseline program should be time phases, means the activities are planned against the time timeline. In addition to this, it contains uh, several activities. The number of activities depends on the size of the project and value of the project. And these activities should be linked each other with logical links. And in addition to this, it is better if the program is time with the program is resource and cost loaded. It is easy in this case to compute the performance percentage of the progress of the project. And uh, in the most important feature of the baseline program is that it should cover all the full scope of the project. And if there is any scope change, it should be reflected in the baseline program. Once we are making the program from the after design stage and project commencement is there, are there so the for the baseline program should cover full scope of the work and this scope should cover any changes have made in the during the design stage and when the province once the project has started one once we are talking about the baseline program in the p6 software the in the p6 software the baseline program is the copy of the approved program as we discussed that the program is made at the commencement of the project so this is a copy of the program which is approved by all the stakeholders and in addition to this is if there is any major changes or variation uh, uh, in the project uh, in the during the during the lifetime of the project then we make the snapshot of the project which is snapshot also is a copy of the program at the extent when these changes or variation are made this the the use of this uh, baseline program making the p6 is that it marking the plan dates and uh, which is early and late dates uh, start and finish dates for the different activities and in, we, it, it, it is uses to compute the variance between the start date and finish date and it compute the uh, how much delay are there for several activities in the in terms of the their, their start and in terms of their uh, completion in addition to this it computes the plan and uh, plan and actual per percentages of the uh, uh, all all activities and overall of the project so it, it helps us how much the project is delayed or ahead in terms of the time and in terms of the percentages. So once we are talking about for the P6 software, the P6 software baseline dates are normally mentioned with the yellow color. But this yellow color is not the necessary. You, we can modify this color as per our requirement. But in, in fact, the P6 default setting is that the baseline date, the, uh, bars are mentioned with the yellow color. So now let's see what are the types of the baseline program. So there are major, there are two major types of the baseline, which is uh, called as the project baseline and the user defined baseline. The project baseline have no further uh, division, but user defined baseline can be further divided to three types, which is called as uh, first baseline or primary baseline, secondary and tertiary baseline. So this all baseline uh, all having their special features, which uh, we I try to summarize in the following table. So the, if you see in the table here that uh, we have uh, different type of baseline, as you see there, the project baseline, primary, secondary, and tertiary baseline. The the this the, the project baseline has a privilege that the system administration uh, admin has the privilege to log this uh, project baseline so that the user have not authority to make any changes in in the project baseline. However, the user can make any changes in the primary, secondary, and tertiary baseline. So we see that the, the main difference of the project baseline and primary baseline is that the system admin can log the project baseline. 
similarly once we assign any project as a base project baseline primary secondary or tertiary baseline the program p6 automatically uh, provides uh, prefix for it and for example project baseline will be mentioned or highlighted with the bl project uh, at the end of the, pro uh, the project name similarly primary secondary and tertiary baselines will be defined as bl1 bl2 bl3 respectively at the end of the project name the main difference and the thing which we have to understand is that in the project baseline and primary baseline the variable options are more than the one mentioned is for the secondary and tertiary baseline the what what i want to explain here is that for the project baseline and primary baseline we can compare the difference on variance of the dates variance of the cost variance of the plan and actual duration number of activities if you are going to increase or delete the activities number of resources units and etc performance percentage etc so this is the variable option we have more variable option for the project baseline and primary baseline as compared to secondary and tertiary baseline where in the secondary and tertiary baseline we can compare the variance of the dates only if you go and if you go in the if you assign any project uh, as a secondary and tertiary baseline and when you go in the column bar you will find only the baseline secondary dates or tertiary dates only but for the uh, primary and project baseline you can find the columns for date cost duration number of activities and units so this is the major difference between the project and primary baseline as compared to secondary and tertiary baseline in addition to this the primary and, and um, project baseline is that project baseline is uh, the admin can log it Similarly, we can show all these four type of uh, uh, baseline on the timeline, time scale, and it is mentioned as the project baseline. If you go in the define bar uh, dialog box, you can find the bars for the project baseline, for the primary baseline, secondary, and tertiary baselines are there. But uh, and similarly, you can find the bar definition already defined in the P6 software by default for the primary baseline, for the secondary baseline, and for the tertiary baseline. But you need to define project baseline it's, uh, by yourself because it is not defined here. The name is there, project baseline you find in the list of the bars you can show in the time scale. But you need to add the bar for this project baseline. So I, I, I added here the one screenshot from the, uh, uh, for the bar dialog box. Here I just opened this, uh, the primary baseline time scale here you can see that you will see we have uh, primary baseline we have project baseline secondary and tertiary baseline this all four baselines are defined but this baseline you cannot find that uh, project baseline you will not find in the name list so here you need to add the list for the uh, add for add the uh, bar for the project baseline and then you have to define filters and other parameters to show this on the time scale so i hope this is uh, this video is helpful for you and it gives you some uh, something new in your knowledge said so because sometimes it's very confusing between the different uh, project baseline and some dates are not exactly mentioned in the in the baseline programs uh, when we are assigning when we are comparing the current date or updated dates with the baseline date so sometimes it happened that if you're making several uh, updates in the baseline program then it may happen that the your baseline date shown on the layout is not exactly matching with the uh, original baseline dates so to uh, to avoid this uh, confusion i try to i think to i have to make video on this topic to help our fellow engineers and i uh, i am i hope that it is something new for your knowledge and it will increase your uh, understanding of the p6 software and it will be help uh, you in the future avoid any mistake uh, in the uh, in your work so if you like it please share please consider subscribing i noticed that most of our viewers are non non subscribers so if you subscribe it it will be a great help and support for me and it will be, make me encouraging to make more useful and helpful videos for our fellow engineers so please consider subscribing and uh, then for the next till next video thank you for your time again and take care yourself see you in the next video take care and bye bye